Hey everybody, this is Mark the Game Shark here with another Let's Play video. And today we're going to be playing Zero Tolerance on the Sega Genesis. Now this is the only, at least in the US, this is the only first person shooter to ever be released on the Sega Genesis. Now I know in Europe you have uh, Bloodshot as well as Duke Nukem 3D, which Duke Nukem 3D did eventually get a release in the U.S., but that was until, like, like last year, whenever I did that other Let's Play. But, for, um, while the Genesis was out, this was the only way to play a first-person shooter on the console. Um, it's a fun game. Um, it actually still holds up today. I'm actually currently playing this game, and I'm enjoying it. I'm at the last section. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's check out Zero Tolerance on the Sega Genesis. Alright guys, without further ado, let's check out Zero Tolerance on the Sega Genesis. Well, in this case, the Retron 5, but it's the Genesis. Now what's cool about this game, this was actually uh, two players. But in order to play two players, you needed two Sega Genesis, two games... And two separate televisions. And you both could play a co-op. Which was kind of cool at the time. But you had to order a special cable to connect the, the um, two Genesis together using both using controller port 2. Which I'm thinking of doing and making my own cable. Since I have a bunch of uh, serial cables. Now in the... Options menu, you have passwords, you can choose players, like you can see here, to via cable, music, you can go on the voice. I would uh, recommend turning the voice off because it gets really annoying, and you'll, you'll find out later on in the playthrough. And you can test out the music and sounds. But for now, let's jump in the game. I just let the intro roll out and you can just, you guys can read this. different people to select from. I think there's five. One. Yeah, five different people. <laughs> so they each have their own separate, like, special abilities. Um, this, uh, this chick, she's actually good at shooting. Like, she can hit targets, like, like, spot on. This guy's in demolition, so if you're, I believe he can take, like, um, explosive hits. And, like, throw grenades and I'll barely get, um, uh, health taken from him. This guy, he's, he has, um, he has, like, extra health, I believe. Or, and, and not extra health, but he gets more, um, health back through med kits. I believe that's the, what his specialty is. This guy, he's good at, like, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, which really is not recommended in this game. <laughs> so... But he's like, he's the person I always use. So yeah, so that's basically all the... Oh yeah, and this guy, he's good at like, um, electronics. Like, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know, because there's, I guess in the second, 
area. Then there, there's there's surveillance systems. I guess he's he can sneak past them. I'm not too sure. I usually mostly play with this guy anyway. Even though I never use hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, like I said, the main goal is to eliminate all the enemies. Um, the A button allows you to you can jump, you can crouch by holding the A button and pressing up and down respectively. Also holding down the A button, you can strafe left and right, which is nice. Now, in the left... Uh, left side of the screen you see the number 60 that's how many enemies are in this level and you start off on docking bay one which says not secured and uh c button switches your weapons or the inventory you can only, it only goes one way so you can't scroll back the opposite way so this is what i'm saying about the voice you'll always hear it that woman say, shotgun collected, or anything you collect, she'll, she'll say. <laughs> so a good method is to strafe and wait for the enemies to appear. The only thing I don't like about another thing I don't like about the game, it doesn't show like the ammo. Like you have to basically walk over each dead body to see if <laughs> you've got the weapon or not. Now I'm gonna hold off on getting the health. The health gives you 20% points back. to be on your guard in this game, otherwise things will get ugly real quick. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Where's the other guy at? What the fuck's he doing? Moron. Your guard in this game. Um, so, like I said, on the uh, actually on the right side is your health. You only the maximum amount of health you can have is 99. Same with the ammo count. The most ammo you can carry is 99 bullets. The bottom center is your mini map, which is always good to look at. That way you know where enemies are, since the game kind of gives you like a really like narrow view of the. Um, play field. So it's really good to always look at both the main screen and the uh, mini map in the bottom center there. And then on the right you see your ID tag. I don't know why that's there, like so huge like that, but eh, whatever. good to like just creep up a little bit and I usually like wait for you never want to go too far 
Otherwise, you're alert like a ton of enemies. And then that can get ugly real quick. Ooh. Even right now, they're being... Seems like they're taking cheap shots at me. Oh, because they knew I was going to do a freaking let's play of this game. I think I got all the and Oh, no. Shotguns in this game do like the opposite of what they normally when they, everyone knows shotguns are good for close quarter combat, but these shotguns have a long range. Ah crap, I really don't want to get that credit pack. Oh shoot. Don't believe there's one on this side. Ah oh, damn it! <laughs> like forces you to get it. Kind of sucks. These guys like run at you. It's like they're have been doing track their whole life. What the hell's the rush? What are you rushing for? What are you in that much of a hurry? Are you in that much of a hurry to die? found out it's good to conserve all your ammo like as you can tell I switched to the shotgun since I had more ammo for it and not enough for the not a, enough ammo for the handgun so I'll, I'll like in the beginning of the game I'll teeter totter between the shotgun and the handgun right, so this section should have 11 enemies and then that should be it for the first level Damn it. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, it got smushed by the door. What the heck is that guy doing? And also, um, later in later levels. Oh, God, man. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> So I have full health now. So I have to go through each enemy. Now the cool thing is it's like it's pretty detailed. If you crouch at them, sometimes you can see the blood like spewing from their bodies. You can also like some enemies. Um, let me see. Oh really? There's no enemies like that? Some enemies you can just like keep punching them. I think it's the ones that you can act the other. Like that. Like, see, you can see the blood trickling from that guy. You can just keep punching them. Now, how do you, how do you use your fist? You press the opposite of what fist you want to use. So, if you want to. If you want to um, punch with your left hand, you hold right and press the uh, B button to uh, fire. And then you press right and up to like do a hijack. And it's kind of cool how it's like detailed like that. I'm going to go back to the shotgun. And there you go, that's the first level. I like how it has the whole uh, elevator music. Alright guys, so I just wanted to show off the first level. Um, so yeah, so now you're at the second level in the game. And 
once you finish it, it shows a password. But screw writing down that password. It's such a pain in the ass how it's a capital and lowercase and numbers. And it even does, like, um, special characters, too, which is kind of annoying. So, yeah, so screw memorizing that. I'll just take a picture with my with my cell phone or some shit. <laughs> well, I'll just uh, save state it, which I'm not going to do now. I'm going to overwrite my current progress. So, yeah, so that's uh, uh, Zero Tolerance on the Sega Genesis. It's a it's a fun game. I mean, there are parts where it slows down, and some parts are the AI is pretty funny because in the second area there's like like Marines and they they throw uh, hand grenades. And the one time I was playing a couple days ago, the the guy threw a hand grenade and killed all the other enemies. I'm like sweet, and he killed himself. I was like, oh man, that's that's funny. <laughs> so yeah, the AI can be rather dumb, but yeah, it's, as you can see from. Uh, Playing it, it's, 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 it gets pretty fast paced, so you have to be always on your guard. And they're like, they're like run behind you, shoot you, and run in front of you. So you really have to like, you can die really quick in the game. So it's always good to like, like take little steps, kill the enemies that are alerted, and rinse and repeat. So, uh, so yeah, that is uh, zero tolerance on the Sega Genesis. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have. Play this uh, game. Uh, let me know. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. And see if you liked it back in the day or, or whatever. Um, I'd be. I'd like to hear it. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, that's about it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, till next time. This is Mark the Game Shark signing out. Have a good day.